start with this. This is the Estee Edit Pore Vanishing Stick. So this is like, like a little bomb in a stick. It's supposed to fill in your pores. So I guess you just apply it directly to your face. I assume you could also just kind of put some on your finger and tap it in. But I'm just gonna apply it directly to my face where I have the most pores. So right on my forehead, right kind of in this section of my cheeks. Um, and that's pretty much it. Let me just see if I need to kind of rub it in more. No? I feel like that did a good enough job. We'll see if that makes a difference. I've been really loving the Benefit Professional lately. Um, I don't know, it's one of those, that's one of those products that I overlooked for a very long time and now I've started getting into using it. It kind of fell in my pores and I've been liking it. So this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I've talked about this a lot. This is a favorite of mine. Ah. Okay, on a brand new bottle, sometimes you need to get it going first. All right. There we go. Oh, it's so refreshing too. Okay. I've been using this for a very long time. I put in my favorites last month, but I haven't really done a review on it. And I was gonna do a standalone review and then I decided I'd just talk to you about it in this video. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. This is like a really, it starts out as medium full coverage, but you can definitely build it to full full coverage. And I've been loving this so much, you guys. It is. It gives such a beautiful natural finish, but yet you're covering any imperfections that you want to cover. It lasts so long on my oily skin. Yeah, I usually do have to blot like once throughout the day, but that's normal. Um, and other than that, like it doesn't transfer off. So many foundations on me with my oily skin will like transfer onto my um, sunglasses or something like that when I wear it. I like this with a brush, but I like it better with a beauty blender. I don't know if they had this foundation before, but I know that this is like a, it's either new or a reformulation. And it's supposed to be like formulated to work under so many different types of light, like 20 different types of lighting and look beautiful in every single one. And I've just found that I love the way my skin looks no matter where I am with this. So if that's true, then I would agree with that. Um, the only people that I've really heard talk about this are like people that I know get Smashbox PR and are doing collabs with Smashbox and so you know I'm not so you can trust my opinion I mean I'm not saying anybody else is lying but you know that I'm telling you the truth because I bought it with my own money and I tell you guys the truth anyway most of the time I'll go with one layer and then just add a little bit more here 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 and here and that's kind of where I want my fullest coverage to be. This pore vanishing stick, looking at it close up, it looks to do kind of the same job as the Benefit Professional Primer. So if you are familiar with that product, it just kind of fills in your largest pores. I mean, you're still gonna have some pores. It's not gonna give you absolutely porcelain-like texture. But yeah, I think it, it just filled in a few pores really nicely, so I'm happy with that. I like the convenience of the little stick packaging. You know, you don't have to get your fingers all messy. It feels really nice. So I color corrected like I always do. By the way, all the products will be in the description bar below. If I don't talk about a step that is not first impression, everything is down below. But this is the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer. So I bought this because I have been absolutely loving this so much. I have heard good things about this. Um, you know, I'm just falling in love with Smashbox face products, the primer water, everything. So I figured hopefully I would like the concealer. So we are going to try it. It is um, just a regular doe foot applicator. It's not flat, it's not a flat one. It's just a regular one. This is in the shade light which going into winter, that's why I went with light instead of like light medium. But it doesn't look to be super light on me even now. Beauty blender time. This beauty blender is on its last legs. I really should actually get rid of it. Beautiful finish. This shade match is absolutely perfect for me. 
So I'm wondering if it won't be as light as I want it to be in the winter, but it's perfect for me right now. And it's not like really super full coverage. I could still see like a little bit of darkness there. I don't know if you guys can see it as well in the camera, but I'm definitely still seeing some of that darkness. It's not super, super full coverage, but it's it's a really nice natural finish. Like whenever I'm testing a new face product, I always stick with my Holy Grail powders because I know how they work. You know, it's it's not the best idea to try a new foundation or concealer and then try a brand new powder on top of it because then if you get a result you don't like, you don't you're not sure which which is the culprit, you know? Okay, this is not from the VIB sale. This I got from Shoppers Drug Mart. Um I don't know what's going up first, this get ready with me or my haul video, my VIB haul video. I have a lot of stuff that I ordered that is still in the mail that hasn't shown up yet for my online order. So uh, I figured I would just do a get ready with me with the stuff that I bought from the store. And while I was shopping VIB, I went to Shoppers Drug Mart and I got this. So this is their mascara sample. Now Shoppers, if you're American, is a Canadian drugstore. Um, this has so many different mascaras. Let me see. It has seven mascaras and then it had Gimme Brow from Benefit, which I thought was awesome because I've never tried it before and I thought it was so cool to put a brow product in with the mascara. Just like a little extra thing, you know, because who really needs eight mascaras? But anyway, they're all minis. So they come like this and then you get um, like a certificate to redeem for a full size. So you get to basically try everything and decide what you like the best and then you can buy it for full size. And I thought that was awesome. I've never tried Gimme Brow before. I know it's like a not a new product at all, but it's new to me. So I've already filled in my brows with the Anastasia and I'm just going to use this as my brow gel. Normally I would use the Anastasia clear brow gel, but today I'm gonna use this. What shade is this? Shade number one, whatever that means. It looks like it's a good match. It's a volumizing brow gel. Yeah, I can see a difference between one brow that's done and this one. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah, this is making my brows fuller. Okay, I'm gonna do my eyeshadow really quickly sped up because this is not any first impression, so I'm just gonna use MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I'm going to use this Kat Von D shadow. This is Metal Crush Shadow Synergy kind of all over my lid, and then I'm just gonna use this Milani palette for any other shades I need, the Earthly Elements, the Everyday Eyes palette. So I tight lined with the Marc Jacobs, what, what is this called? I can never remember. Highliner? Highliner, gel eyeliner. And then I just use the Rimmel Exaggerate in uh, nude in my waterline. So I've owned this for such a long time and I don't think I've ever used it. So I'm gonna consider this a first impression. This is the e.l.f. Precision Liquid Liner and this is one that is like a brush that comes out of a little pot. Um, I'll be honest, I'm a little bit scared of these. I like the pens better, you know, like the Kat Von D and that kind of thing. So it's been a long time since I used one of these. So maybe this will be a disaster. I don't know, but we're gonna try it. so good it's super wet but it's really gliding very easily across my lid um it's a little bit thick and i can feel like it's still wet and i'm worried that this might be the kind that might like smudge throughout the day but did it say waterproof it didn't say waterproof anywhere on it so that's always iffy i'm gonna do the other one now so far i like it it's not lacking in any depth of color Black is the absence of color, isn't it? It's not lagging in any like blackness. Like it's very, very dark, which is nice. It's not coming out like super gray or something like that. Um, but yeah, it's so watery that it's still like, I can still feel it wet on my eyelids and I'm a little bit worried about it transferring until it's dry, but we'll have to see throughout the day if it wears well or not. So let's move on. So I wanted to show you guys what I picked up from MAC with the Nutcracker Sweet Collection. So this is the um, Copper Face Compact. This has the Whisper of Guilt highlight in it as well as a blush called Pleasure Model. So that's what it looks like. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, this would be such a stunning gift. The packaging is so pretty. So I've used this blush once. I actually really like the way it looked on me. The highlight 
you know, everybody went crazy because this highlight used to exist and then it didn't for a long time and then they brought it back for this. I mean, it's pretty. Yeah, and don't get me wrong, it's beautiful. But I have other highlighters that I think are just as good. I, it doesn't like blow me away. Um, but I'm going to show you guys. Of course, there'll be swatches overlaid. But I actually really like this blush quite a bit on my skin tone. I never know where to put my mirror because it's always in this stupid shot. And it's always getting in the way, so. I guess I could use the mirror in here, too. I think if you have yellow undertones, you would probably really like this. Like, this blush, I feel like, gives me just that kind of hint of warmth, but it's not overwhelming. It doesn't look like you have tons of color on your face like you know it doesn't look fake it just and it blends really well i think it's really really pretty so i'm really glad i picked this up i did pick up this blush too from the same nutcracker sweet collection this packaging is so beautiful too i love the pink with the kind of purpley burgundy it i love that color combination and then like the powder itself it's got the gold on the inside but it's got the little stars in there this one is called Sweet Vision. There were two blushes in this collection. The other one, when I swatched it, had no pigment at all. Like, I, I didn't even get why it was created because it was just, like, nothing. But this is super beautiful. I've been using this so much this month. This is absolutely going to go in my favorites because I've been loving it. But I wanted to show you guys this now um, before my favorites for the month of November because by then it might be too late. So I wanted you to be able to see them in action. Um, I'll give you a close-up swatch of this one too. This is absolutely stunning. Totally recommend. Totally recommend this one. I've heard the other face palette is good too, but I, I don't think I swatched that one in the store. But I really, like this blush is really pretty. Oh yeah. Guess I should put some of that highlight on too so you can see it. The only thing that I will say about this highlight is that on certain brushes, it won't pick up. If I use my Wayne Goss brush, this one, which normally I love for highlighter, um, it's almost too soft. Like it won't pick up any product at all. So, ooh, so I've been using my Sigma one and that one is doing an okay job, but I kind of feel like I need to dig into the product in here a little bit, like hard and it, I don't know. I don't know why that is. But let's put some on. I guess my point with this highlighter is that if you love this kind of thing, then sure. Go out, get it, you will love it. But if you're tired of hearing people like overhype things just because they're new, then it's probably not unlike something you probably already have in your collection. It's very similar to many, many other gold highlighters. Sorry, just my opinion. Oh, I love the smell of Fix Plus. I love the smell of Fix Plus in the morning. So I wanted to try the Clarins mascara out of this um, little pack. It's called the Supra Volume. 01 Intense Black. I've never tried a Clarins mascara before. So, ooh. Interesting. It's just like a really kind of standard brush, which I love. Just big volume, voluminous, voluminous, voluminous. I love really big voluminous brushes for mascara. Oh, it's like sticky. What's going on here? I feel like it's grabbing my eyelashes. Let's try that again. What is it called? Super volume? Well, you'd think it would be volumizing, which it is a little bit, but it's very lengthening. This I would compare to, just like, obviously, very first impression, I would compare to the YSL um, volume of Fet Fossils. Very similar effect. Very long with just a little bit of volume and fairly um, like separated still. Very weirdly though, it feels like it's grabbing my eyelashes and holding onto them, which is a really strange sensation. The test is for me usually the bottom lashes because that's where it will transfer if it's going to. 
but this Marc Jacobs that I tight lined with is transferring onto my waterline, which is annoying me. Two lip products I'm very excited about. The first is MAC Diva, which is this really kind of beautiful fall shade that I just picked up. And um, I thought that maybe I would try this gold gloss on it from Bite Beauty. I did haul this a while back, but I still haven't used it yet. So it's a Bite Beauty Crim Lip Gloss in gold. This is, I'm pretty sure, limited edition for the holiday. I know it's still available. I saw it in store, I saw it online. So I thought I would demo it for you guys. Oh, oh. <laughs> wow. Okay, maybe I should have put a lip liner on. Wow. Well, I am really, really blown away by this color. So this is Diva, it is a matte, it feels like a matte, but still comfortable. It's not moving around very long, which makes me think very long, very much, which makes me think that it's probably gonna last a long time on the lips. So, wow, I am blown away by the color. The reason I ordered this is I just saw it like in somebody's MAC lip swatch video just randomly and I thought it looked really cool and I thought it would be great fall color, which I think it will be. Like, look at this, it's gorgeous for the fall. But um, the only time I had ever swatched this was on Snapchat, so I just, maybe I forgot how deep it was. <laughs> All right, here is the moment of truth. So it's got a little bent kind of triangular applicator. It has a, oh, this has a little bit of a lemony smell. It kind of smells like the fresh sugar balms. Actually, it smells exactly like the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea setting spray. That's exactly what this smells like, which is kind of weird, <laughs> but oh well. So, oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna be that strong in that pigmented. I thought it was just gonna be like a light gloss. No, that is like, <gasps> whoa. Oh, but okay, I'm spreading it out and it's kind of just doing a little sheen of gold. Oh wow, that is so pretty. Wow, this is so gorgeous for holiday. Okay, the only problem, obviously, is if you're gonna put it over a dark color, look what happens to your wand and then you have to dip it back in. So probably I should wipe this off before I do my top lip. There's a little bit closer up. You could see just like, look at that. Oh, there's the, I wanna show you also the color this close up before I put something on top of it. So that's Diva on top. And then with the gloss on the bottom, Wow, this is something else, you guys. I'm so excited. Oh, look at that. I mean, obviously you could do like a thicker layer and get that really nice gold. And you have this gorgeous like golden sheen on your lips. Oh, it's such, such a great product. Also, here's the eyes. You can see the liner. And you can see the lashes. The lashes aren't anything like extremely amazing. It's just like a nice, good kind of long lash. There's not anything here that I really wanna do like a fully, full on all day wear test on. I mean, there is the concealer. Um, obviously the foundation, I already know how it wears for the day. And this here, the liner, I just want to see if it transfers. The mascara also want to see if it transfers at all. So I will do a really quick check-in at not quite, probably not the end of the day. I haven't been liking to wear my makeup like all, all day long lately. Um, so I don't know if you could see, but it's like 10.59. So, you know, I'll probably wear this for a good five, six hours, and then I will check in with you and let you know if it is 6, changed. 10 p.m. So I've had this on for a little over seven hours. So let's just go through everything really quickly, and I'll give you a quick update. Let me get a little mirror out so I can inspect my face. <laughs> okay, so I have repowdered a few times throughout the day. This pore vanishing stick, I think, is a really good buy. I feel like these pores here that I normally see are really filled in. 
I think it looks really good. So that's awesome. The Smashbox foundation, I mean, like I said, I already know that I love this, but you guys can see how well this is held up. This is seven hours, but I've worn this before for about like 10 or 11, and it looks literally just as good as this. So I'm not having any issues. I have repowdered um, halfway through the day. But anyway, it's really not losing any coverage even though I've had like oil come through and I blotted and stuff like that and I think it looks just as good it's not oxidizing I think it looks really nice so the Smashbox concealer for me personally I'm a little bit disappointed only because it's not a full coverage concealer which I don't know why I thought it would be I just did maybe because the foundation is so full coverage but it's you know you can still see my dark circles a little bit so I think for anybody who doesn't need a super full coverage concealer you would probably like this because it's really not creasing any worse than <laughs> any other good concealers that I have like it's giving me a little bit in my fine lines but really not too bad at all the gimme brow such a good little find it's held my brows absolutely in place all day i love the volume that it gave them really nice okay this little palette here i feel like the blush has kind of gone away a little bit like you can you can't really see the blush but look you can still see the highlight i have not reapplied that highlight it's still going strong normally i would probably reapply blush throughout the day um, but I didn't want to because I wanted to show you guys how this wears so the blush did wear away but the highlight is it's popping all right let's talk about this for a second the lipstick and the lip gloss so I did film a video after checking in with you guys you'll probably see that soon um, and I wore this throughout the video and it was fine and then I took it off probably about half an hour after that and I took it off because I realized that it was really starting to bleed outside of the lines. Now, I don't know if that is because I didn't wear a lip liner. I know MAC matte lipsticks do not bleed. So I know it's not the fault of the lipstick. It's definitely the gloss. The gloss, you know, it made it wet and it kind of made it just feather out of the lines. So I'm going to experiment with this over different things and see, you know, what it works with and what it doesn't. The e.l.f eyeliner so i think you can see it's really kind of worn away on the inner corner i think it's going pretty strong on the outer wing yeah like it hasn't smudged hasn't done anything um i don't feel like it's as black as i would like for an eyeliner but i think it's a really good buy for what it is i think it's like two or three bucks so for a nice black liquid liner decent it's not the best thing but it's definitely not terrible this mascara has not flaked it hasn't moved now my eyes have been feeling kind of burny for the last couple hours but I don't know if that's the mascara or if it is the Marc Jacobs liner that I use to tight line with um, so I'm going to try this a couple more times this week and I will put it in the description bar if I've had any further thoughts on this mascara but the mascara seems to be going strong too so I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that you got some good information out of it. And what I like to do with all of my first impressions that I do throughout the month, I've got a few different videos going with first impressions. I always follow up on my first impressions after using everything for a good couple of weeks. That way you're getting the first impression thoughts and you're getting my thoughts after a few weeks of use as well. So you will get a full review on all of this in addition to this first impressions. But I hope that it really helped you guys and I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.